Today we begin a new chapter in the Ray's Arithmetic primary book, and we're going to do some multiplication for these next several lessons. And this is going to be lesson 38 in the multiplication section. And look right there, I have to point this out, our, our Roman numeral has got a bunch of multiplication going on in it. So let's take a look at that. We got the X's right here. You remember those stand for tens, right? Well, and I just noticed we got a black pen instead of, okay, well, we'll just go with our black pen. Well, that's 10 and 10 and 10, isn't it? And 10 times 3 is what we've got there, and that's 30. Your V is a 5, and then you got three ones, don't you? So 3 times 1 is what that is. So you, this is the 5, the V, so you add that all up, and you get 38. So that's how we actually had some multiplication going on in our lesson number. So let's go on to lesson 38. And it is this picture on page 41 of our book. Now, I know it's a little hard to see, and the lesson is about counting some birds in this picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to rely on the rest of the lesson telling us how many birds we're supposed to see here, because this is kind of a dark picture. This is from an original uh, picture in the book, and I'm sure the original looked a lot clearer, and we could easily count the birds in the original picture, so we'll just have to uh, sort of wing it here on these birds. <clears throat> All right, well, first thing we want to do is count how many birds are flying inside the shed. Now, obviously we can't really see them very well, but later in the lesson we learn that we're going to have four birds flying around in the shed for the later problems. So let's just say and I'm going to have to change the color on my pen because you're not going to be able to see black on black. How about red? Yeah, that'll work. So let's say up here in the darkness in this section up right in here, we've got four birds flying around inside the shed. That's what the uh, kids are looking up at. They're looking up all these birds flying around. Well, we've got some other birds that are flying outside the shed. You can see a couple of them right here, right? Well, there's supposed to be a total of four kind of flying around right in this section, according to the later lesson. So let's just say, for the sake of this lesson, we've got four birds flying around outside the shed. Okay, you with me so far? We've got four birds flying, four swallows flying around inside, four flying around outside. Now we've got some other swallows in the picture. They're supposed to be sort of taking a rest here at the top see this ledge right here above the kids heads okay well there are actually some birds sitting up there and they're probably taking a nap because it's so dark but there are four birds up there believe it or not so we've got a total of uh, well we've got four birds out there flying four flying inside four at rest and so that's going to be how many birds all together we got three birds times well, three times four birds. Yeah, how many that would be? Take a guess. I would say that would be 12. And we'll see that in just a second. Three times four is 12. In fact, let me put that on the next. Let's go to a chalkboard. We've got three times four. Three times four, and that's 12, isn't it? All right. Let's go back to our picture. Now, we've got something else here. We've got four nests over the doorway. See them right over here? You can only make out three of them clearly, but there are four. And so, for the lesson, there are actually four nests up there. Maybe it's this one over here. Okay. Now, each of, in each of these nests are some eggs. There's supposed to be four eggs in each nest. So, if each of these four nests have four eggs, how many eggs are there all together in all the nests? Hmm. So if we've got four nests, and each of the four nests has four eggs in it, what's four times four? Hmm. Four times four, four times four. Well, that's 16. Okay. I will do some more practicing of multiplication later on. But four times four is 16. So there are 16 eggs in those four nests, four in each nest. 
Okay. Now here's one more question. Now you know these swallows are birds, right? How many wings does each of these birds have, each of these swallows? Well, we know how many wings a bird has. That's two wings, right? So if each swallow has two wings, how many wings would eight of those swallows have? So we have eight swallows and they have two wings each. How many wings altogether among those birds? Well, that would be two times eight. What's two times eight? Two times eight would be, you know something, that would be 16. Okay. Eight times two or 16. Two times eight is 16. Okay, well that's just a little brief lesson to get us started on multiplication. We'll try to find a better picture to count with than this one that's a little clearer to see. But we just wanted to take a look at this one because this is what's in our book on page 41. Alrighty, so that's all we'll do for today. The next lesson will be some more and better practice at multiplication at lesson 39. We'll see you at that next lesson. In the meantime, you can go to our website to see all the lessons in Raise Arithmetic and more information about it and other great things. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.